So, my dear, do you go to a lot of holiday parties? I wouldn't say I go to a lot. But Not a lot, but some. Some, some. absolutely, yeah. For me, I don't know about you, mm -hmm. but for me, I've noticed that sometimes when I show up at holiday parties, all anyone has brought is cheap beer. Sure. Right? Yeah. And that's not something I want to drink, but that's all that's available. Okay. So today, in case you ever go into a holiday party or anywhere and all they have is cheap beer, we're going to talk about raiding their refrigerator, which they deserve if all they <laughs> supplied you was cheap beer. All right. They deserve for you to raid their refrigerator, and we're going to do some beer mixers with Bud Light and Coors. Okay. And try to make them a little more palatable. Some people really like them, and they should drink them that way, though. They yeah. should, yes. yes. Some people do like those. Yeah. For those who don't like them, right? we're going to fix those R2-D2 and C-3PO looking beers. Okay. What's first? First up, we have Hunter. So I've named this beer, or this drink, for the character Hunter from The Bad Batch. Okay. He's the one who looks like the character that Charlie Sheen played in that movie where they were spoofing, or doing a parody of Top Gun and Rambo okay. Okay. together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Remember okay. Hunter? Yeah, I do. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So this one is... With a full beer, now we're not going to drink a full beer with these, obviously, because we're going to go through five of these recipes, and that would be a lot of beer. That would be a lot of beer. Yes. So this one is a full beer, half a shot of gin, and three ounces of orange juice. And the reason okay. I call this one the Hunter is, or Hunter, is because Hunter always seems like he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. Okay. And I can just see him just rubbing his temples and waking up in the morning with a little bit of orange juice, beer, and gin to get him going for the day. Well, okay. That's one way to start your day. Here are two hunters. One with Coors, one with Bud Light. All right. Let's see which one tastes the best. Taste the gin. Smell the orange juice. Taste the orange juice and taste the gin a little bit. There's still a little Bud Light undercurrent. I'm not sure I taste the beer, but I think I like it better with Coors. I do too. Next up, we have the Hothgarita. So this is like a beer-rita, except okay. instead of taking a margarita and just turning a beer upside down into it. Okay. This is mixed to be a little bit beer, a little bit margarita. All right. It is one beer, one lime worth of juice, which is approximately one ounce of lime juice, and just a dash of agave syrup or agave juice, if you have juice around. Probably we had agave syrup. And we spice the rim with either spicy salt or tahine. We use tahine. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking that a margarita on the planet Hoth, you'd want it a little bit spicy. Sure. It's cold, and so why not All right. spice things up a little bit? You've got the cores. I do. I've got the Bud Light. You can okay. tell the difference in the color. You can. It's definitely it darker. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's actually not too bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Now it's... I know why people do the beer turn up in the margarita. Mm -hmm. I think this is better than that. I like this better mm -hmm. than that. But I'm also not a frozen margarita person. Hmm. I prefer them on the rocks. All right, now let's see if there's a difference. I think I like it with a lot of tahine. Okay. Well, that might fix anything. There's right a big there. blob of tahine right there. I'm not very good at salting the rim. <laughs> Again, I prefer the cores. See, this time I prefer the Bud Light. Well, there you go. I think. I think the lime and agave come out better in the Bud Light. They're not competing with the stronger flavor of the cores. Hmm. I still like the course. <laughs> there you go. Next up is the Loath Wolf, which is based on a Greyhound recipe. Okay. So not like a Greyhound, it. but with a beard. I like a Greyhound. Okay. I prefer the Salty Dog, though. Okay. Which is just a salted rim on a Greyhound. <laughs> on a Greyhound. All right, yep. well, we, we can do that with tahine, maybe. We didn't try tahine around the oh, edge of this, but okay. that might be good. It might be delicious. So a Salty Loath Wolf. A salty loath wolf. But first, we have a loath wolf. Yes, which is one beer, the juice from half a lime, 
and what two shots of grapefruit juice so three ounces of grapefruit juice okay and you got the cores I do. and i've got the bud light Hmm. I think I prefer the original Greyhound. <laughs> that is not going to be my favorite. <laughs> I prefer the Coors to the Bud Light, mm. but this is my least favorite of the three so far. I just don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I wanted to. Poor Loath Wolf. Poor Loath Wolf. We Which is from Rebels. Yes, okay, let's try some Tahit. The Loath Wolf is an animal in the... Star Wars Rebels animated series. If you haven't seen that, it's on Disney. That was a very attractive move, by the way. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just do this. It didn't help. It helped mine, but I poured a bunch in there. <laughs> Next up is the Brass Ewok. This is based on a brass monkey. Okay. So our recipe is one beer, two shots or three ounces of orange juice, and two shots or three ounces of lemon juice. Okay. So, and again, I have the course. And I have the Bud Light. It's I know I like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. The Coors is better. The Coors is better. Yeah. I don't think I've had anything yet where I preferred the Bud Light. Sorry, Bud. I had the one. Which one was it? The the Hothcarita? The Lone Wolf? Oh, yeah. Lo Lone you Wolf? did. Um, I think it was the Hothcarita. I think it was the Hothcarita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I like that one. Just because yeah. it had less flavors competing. So, there. I said it. The Bud Light has less flavor. It's probably also <laughs> less filling. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's light, hence the name. <laughs> hence the name. <laughs> if we did Coors Light to Bud Light, maybe we'd have different <clears throat> results. We, we might. Know. This is true. Or Coors to, to Bud. Bud. But the Coors looks like C-3PO to me. Right. And the Bud Light looks like R2-D2. Okay. A Budweiser doesn't look like R2-D2. This is true. And a it Coors does Light not. does not look like C-3PO, right. except C-3PO in... Like that very first series when young Anakin had built him and he was still sort of grayish silver. Oh, yeah? Okay. I could see that. Could have done that. But that's not classic yeah. C-3PO. Right? No. <laughs> Last one is the Sabine. This Excellent. is basically a boiler maker, okay. Except instead of dropping the shot in, we just... We could call it bourbon barrel aged Bud Light and bourbon barrel aged Coors. We could call it that. So it's a beer and a shot of whiskey. Pour it in. Don't drop the shot glass in and then chug it. I mean, you know, unless you're 19 or something. And if you're 19, you shouldn't be drinking. So don't do that. <laughs> right? Right? Don't encourage that, Tracy. Exactly. I don't think people past, I don't think most people past 25 do Boilermakers. Okay. But this is you basically just. Know. You never know. This is bourbon okay. barrel aged cheap beer. Okay. Let's go to the try. She has the Coors. I have the Bud Light. I forgot to mention we are drinking. Oh. oh. <laughs> there it is. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Got to work with the camera. Forgot to mention we are using Early Times, which is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey for this. This was recommended by Kyle, which. This also smells fantastic. I'm surprised fantastic. he's not over here going, you're doing what with right? my bourbon? I don't think Stop so. Stop it! Yeah, we didn't really tell him what we were doing. It was just like, hey, can we borrow some Tangeray gin and a good mixing bourbon? He might be unhappy about this. He might really be unhappy about this. Sorry, Kyle. Mm, Coors wins. Coors wins. Yeah. Yep. That's not bad. So, really, bourbon barrel aged anything... Is delicious. I don't know that I'd go that far. Okay. Yeah. Not well, everything bourbon barrel aged is delicious. It does help make something taste better than it did before. Okay. The bourbon Fair. barrel aging. If it tasted pretty good to begin with, mm -hmm. aging it in bourbon barrels helps. It can. Sure. Or putting a shot of bourbon yep. into it. 
I'm going with that. Also. So, bourbon barrel aged Cabernet Sauvignon, bourbon barrel aged Tempranillo. Always Tracy's favorite. Always. Always. Bourbon barrel aged beers. Yep. Always Tracy's favorite. Yep. I, that's probably why they age bourbon in bourbon barrels, is to make it <laughs> it's bourbon barrel aged. Exactly why they do that. He's so smart, guys. They. <laughs> I, I think every bourbon is aged that way, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Wow. Those they were people, thinking. They're they thinking. are way ahead of the game. They were onto something. <laughs> if you show up at a holiday party, a Christmas party, it could be a New Year's Eve party. It could be a family get together on July Fourth, and all they brought were Bud Light and Coors, or some combination of those sorts of beers. Yeah. Well, presumably you were a good guest and brought something. But in case you were traveling or just couldn't, or couldn't, couldn't the get store to the beer was already store. closed. Yeah. yeah. That happens. Raid their refrigerator. You have my full permission. If they <laughs> if they say anything to you about it, Tracy said, and then it's okay. You have no idea how often I hear, <laughs> well, Tracy said. <sighs> but it's Guys, usually from me, right? do not blow his head up. <laughs> he no, needs no help. Oh. Raid their refrigerator. Raid their liquor cabinets. Mm-hmm. Don't use the cheap bourbon. Use the expensive bourbon. If they invited you to a party and only supplied you with Bud Light and Coors Light, go for the Whistle Pig. Making friends and influencing <laughs> people here, guys. You heard it first. <laughs> Pour their Whistle Pig into some cheap beer. <laughs> Great plan. Don't do it. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? That's it. We are done with our beer mixology class for our R2-D2 and C-3PO beers. We will see you back on December 25th for the first beer of Christmas, Star Wars style, Luke Skywalker. So, what did you pick? I picked from Prairie, the Sneaking Suspicion? Sneaking Suspicion from Prairie Artisan Ales. I picked Lead Farmer from Brewery LBK. And what did you pick? Leave us a comment below. And we will see you back for the first beer of Christmas, 2021 Star Wars edition. Merry Christmas.